and I'm back. Good day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. I've been gone for the last 11 days. Okay, so I was tortured at a secret location for 11 hours a day. It took me an hour and a half to drive there in the morning and more than that to get back in the evenings, but I'm back. Okay, so we are doing the long-awaited Caliber Stubby review today. Um, MX-5, Drift and all the other people that were asking for this, yes, we are doing it today. Okay, now this is not my knife. This is a knife that I, well, I got from a friend to do a review on. But look at this thing. But there's a few things wrong. So first we're going to fix that before we actually do the review. Okay, I can feel the bearings as it's closing. You can see the centering is horribly off. Okay, but I cannot get to the pivot to fix it. So, and this thing is on the wrong side. It's not as the great knife makers have intended. Okay, so let's, ah, uh, sorry for that. So let's get this guy. Okay, we have T6 pocket clip screws like most pocket clips. But you need to swap this around. I don't know, I suppose it comes from the, uh, what do you call it, factory like this. This is a caliber, which means it's a Cape Union Mart exclusive, which means it's a, what's it, designed in South Africa, made in China, OEM there, knife. Okay, so if we can do that. Sorry, too many small screws and too few fingers. My dog saw a rat. Or is smelling a rat. And it's a Jack Russell. So he's been doing that. Moaning sound. At a log. Outside. For a few days now. Actually I'm lying. I only got back yesterday. In the afternoon. But since then. He was doing this. I'm going to. Go attack him now, so don't worry, it will go away. I just need to tighten these guys. Get a one screw, does not want to sit the way it's supposed to. Okay, there we go. Now we can tighten them all. Okay. Nice. Okay, so that's fine. Now we can see the what do you call that thing? That's a T8. Okay, but it feels like that side's turning. But if I hold a finger on it. Okay, and now our centering is fine. Let's see if it's not too tight. No, it's still fine. Centering is good now. Pocket clip is where it's intended to be. Let's drop a drop of oil in there and then we'll do this thing. Okay, so of course I used my favorite knife lube, Singer Oil, which is just mineral oil with something for heat in there. Uh, let's just wipe the blade a bit. Okay, and there we go. I cannot feel the bearings anymore. Action is fantastic. And the pocket clip's on the right spot. Okay, now, when we look at this thing, we have a blade that is uh, three and a quarter inch, eight inches, a little bit less overall in centimeters. It is, you cannot see anything in centimeters. It is eight and a half centimeters and 20 centimeters overall. And then let's quickly check stock thickness. Sorry, everything is dirty in here. Um, 2.9 milli, milli, millimeters, millimeters, and that's 0 0.11 in inches. Okay, so we have this wonderful modified sheep's foot. I'm going to go with modified sheep's foot. Cleaver style blade. Um, 
we have a nice switch at the top we have this huge thumb hole over here and it works great we have a flat ground portion over there it's about saber height yeah saber height and then we have nice big very friendly jumping in the finger choil over there so you can choke up on this thing quite nicely okay the handle is nice and thick okay i'm gonna measure that for you now and it's very nice in hand i do not feel the pocket clip as odd spot and it feels like a very tough work knife okay it's got g10 for the scales um 0.6 inches okay so it's a bit fatter than your normal 0.5 that we always go for but because it's nicely contoured uh, you can see it's slightly contoured it feels wonderful in hand okay and this finger groove here at the top and then the three at the bottom for my hand it works perfectly and remember what i've told you on those charts large uh, on the edge of extra large that way with short little fingers okay so in my hand this works perfectly yes my hands like that on the i don't know it's the american chart for glove sizes it's medium like that and broad like that so do with that whatever you want very nice let's see if we can spidey flick it yes we can let's see if we can thumb open it yes we can it's a bit awkward but you can but the flipper tab works wonderfully okay so the caliber stubby i think this thing was also 200 rand i'm gonna go with that because i don't know it's not mine but even if you pay 250 300 rand even 400 or 500 rand this is still a bargain this is a very nice work knife okay so i have not actually used it a lot i only played around with it but the pocket clip annoyed me so much i do not really like things tip down okay but apart from that well now it's fixed now this thing is perfect and i love it um just a quick side note the friend where i borrowed this thing from um he's one of those he's a knife person he's got knives but then as soon as he cuts meat with it let's say at a braai then he just chucks it into the dishwasher okay your bearings will rust eventually if you do that if it's got steel bearings because the moisture stays in there second thing uh what do you call that thing a dishwasher it's hot and it's spraying water so it degreases your um bearings okay so don't do that and it's also not good for your scales i don't think it's going to do anything to g10 and micarta and whatnot but if you have wood scales and stuff just don't do it okay um dishwashers are made for plates cups cutlery that you use to eat at night but not for your chef's knives and not for these things okay so don't do it okay but anyway that aside now this thing is perfect and i think i must pick myself one well pick one up for myself okay i'm back into this so i'm still struggling to talk okay i'm gonna braai and show you another video also today because i need to catch up the last few videos were things i pre-recorded um but yes now i'm back i'm happy i hope you are happy um tell your friends to subscribe do all of those good things and i will see you in the next video all of you stay safe happy have a good one goodbye oh sorry and if i did not say this um actually i think i did not say it i think it's 8 cr 13 um on the blade because there's no markings nothing anywhere except for the caliber over there and over there um no branding on this knife at all which is actually quite nice i like it but it's some kind of budget stainless steel not that it's a bad thing i have no problems with 8cr it's for a pdc knife it's fine so yes now you can go